Gilead released its first quarter earnings and the pharmaceuticals company did not disappoint. But there's a lot more behind the numbers, especially with their $84,000 a bottle Savaldi drug. Here to discuss this further is the street contributor, Tim Mullaney. So Tim, what is your connection to the Savaldi drug? Well, I, I have a bottle of it upstairs. I've had hepatitis C since the day after I was born when I got a blood transfusion. Didn't find out about it till sometime in the 1990s. I have a very low viral load. I've never been sick, but I actually do have the disease. And there is a controversy over whether to treat people like me who show no real signs and have had no real damage. But the way the incentives are set up and the payment system is set up, the out-of-pocket cost is so low that even though the drug costs 84000 bucks, my incentives are to take it and, and take away the risk that I might get sick later rather than uh, watchfully wait the disease to see what happens. Okay, great. Now, Gilead did report those earnings um, yesterday, and those earnings were $1.48 a share on $5 billion in revenues for the first quarter. And the Sovaldi drug is estimated to reach more than $4.5 billion this year in sales. But insurance companies aren't happy about the price. Can you talk a little bit about how this has affected their earnings? Yeah, first of all, the... Um the earnings estimates were too low because the street has massively underestimated the number of people like me who have held off on being treated because we know that um, you know the prior regimens were also very expensive and they also were laden with side effects they took up to a year uh, and they made you sick you know and often put you in the hospital and, and the real miraculous part of this drug is that first of all they work much better and secondly they have many fewer side effects you know I've been taking it for two weeks now and really barely know that it's there. So there's that. Now, in terms of your question about the payers, there's some really daunting, crazy math. You know, there's 3 million people in the U.S. with hep C. And if you figure, you know, 100,000 bucks per person, uh, which is plausible because in many cases, uh, Sovaldi is taken with other drugs, you're really talking about $300 billion to treat the hep C population. And, and beyond that, you've got these new wave of uh, biologically engineered, you know, call them super drugs. Hepatitis C drugs are hitting first. There's more like Savaldi coming from other companies, but there's also heart disease drugs coming. There's diabetes drugs coming. Further down the line, there may even be Alzheimer's drugs. And when you talk to the insurance companies, what they're really, really terrified of is all of these hitting at the same time, because that 300 billion just for Savaldi and, and the Hep C drugs is equal to what everybody spends on all drugs put together in the United States now. Wow, that's a lot. So then, what are some of the most important numbers to you in terms of perhaps your out-of-pocket costs? Yeah. Well, you know, everybody was uh, making the case on the street that a lot of people would not use Savaldi or that the payers would resist Savaldi because the key number was the $84,000 sticker price of Savaldi, which is an extraordinarily high price. And it's really the first super price, super high price drug that's aimed at a large audience. What you've had is these $400,000 drugs that have an addressable audience of a few hundred or a couple thousand people. This is the combination of really big price and really big uh, addressable population. Well, thank you so much. That's Tim Mullaney for The Street Contributor, and he's taking us through the Gilead $84,000 drug and the impact on the earnings. For The Street, I'm Corey Hale.